I hope you all have been having an absolutely orgasmic day because now is where that comes to an end. What we're going to be looking at today will have you constantly peeking over your shoulder, sleeping with one eye open, and using that dildo from under your bed as a defense mechanism. While everything in this video is going to be highly unsettling, it'll also leave you questioning your entire existence. So what we're going to be looking at today is called r slash distressing memes, and man oh man, if this subreddit does not live up to that name. Take this as your second and final warning. Going through this subreddit is like a test of your manhood. If you can successfully browse this subreddit and not get freaked out or scared in the slottest, that's a lifetime pass to the salty splatoon that no one can take away from you. That is just the toughest of the tough. One of the most frightening things I've ever heard is when someone pointed out that the existence of Uncanny Valley implies that at some point there was an evolutionary reason to be afraid of something that looked human but wasn't. <laughs> now imagine reading that again, but in the complete dark at about 2 in the morning right before you're about to go to sleep, because that's where I read this post. That was my first introduction to this subreddit. And needless to say, it was it was quite hard for me to go to sleep that night. I had to turn on I had to turn on a couple knot lots and a couple little lullabies to make me fall asleep. <laughs> You rearrange a deck of cards enough times, then statistically it will eventually be in its original form due to the fact that it's infinite. The same goes for the particles in your brain. There's a higher chance of your brain briefly, briefly forming in a void complete with memories of living than there is of you actually existing on Earth. The only thing you can be sure of is the existence of your own mind. If you're reading this, you're likely the only real consciousness to have ever existed in the entire universe. You are alone. Nothing is real. This theory is called the Bolzman Brain. Reading these type of posts is exactly what makes a Facebook conspiracy theorist. You read enough of these and you go absolutely insane and start believing in lizard people, mole people, and whatnot. But then again, there's the other side of the argument that that theory could very well be true and will probably never know, or you may not know till the end. The unknown is scary. You die peacefully surrounded by your friends and family. A lot disappears, but you don't lose awareness. Oof, claustrophobia. Everything is blocked and you're still conscious. You can feel, hear, smell, taste, or see. You can't, but you're still conscious. You're alone with nothing but your brain to talk with you, yet you're still conscious. Eventually you start to lose it all. Yet you're still conscious. You spend a year unable to experience anything, you'll be stuck in a rotting vessel. You begin to lose your memories of life, yet you're still conscious. Your brain can barely function, resetting every second, leaving you confused in every moment you exist, yet you're still conscious. Oh my god, oh my god. Your brain is gonna go, yet you're still conscious. You are simply a lifeless life, unable to think, unable to feel, and unable to know. What a frightening image. Oh my god, something about like classical music paired with these these words is giving me the tingles. This is your eternity. We have not pinpointed exactly where the consciousness is in the human brain or what it even is. We don't know where it goes after death. If it goes anywhere, what if it stays? With the depressed troll face. The sounds are mainly what do it for me. Like, what is that? The album, the Everywhere at the End of Tom? That thing... Listen to that if you haven't. That's like a couple hours long, I think, but that right there is a, a roller coaster of every emotion. If you ever thought you've actually been unsettled or distressed before listening to that album, that'll give you a whole new meaning to the word unsettling. Thinking through each one of those scenarios, though, the possibilities that after you die, you don't go anywhere, you just stay exactly in your body, like your body's dead. But your consciousness is still up and running around like that scene from Spongebob where the, the brain's on fire and they're all running around and everything's firing off. But what if that happens after you're already dead and you're just laying there and then you go through each one of these stages described like that and you just get to the point where you're still there but you don't really know. And then you're like on this constant loop of just weird awareness for eternity. That gives you another reason to be scared to die if you didn't have enough already. <laughs> Let's keep going further, man. Oh, God. Me watching the so-called atheists start praying to God as I attach the car battery clamps to their testicles. <laughs> That's just like an upside-down face, right? Like with a crinkle on their forehead, but it looks like a smile. 
If anything will turn a man to religion, it's having your nuts hooked up to a car battery and trying to jump those suckers. Oh, baby. I know that's more of a funny meme than distressing or unsettling meme, but still there's that, that hint of distressing behind it in the undertones. Like, it's an aftertaste. Because always thinking about, like, injuries sustained to the, the nut region... You can feel those more vividly almost than actual pain sometimes, and it really... <laughs> that's a superpower that men have. You have a nice swim with your friends. Pleasant day, you can dive underwater and close your eyes. You dive back up to find everyone disappeared, even teleported to an ominous location. You walk through the hall, hearing loud screams echoing. At the end of the hallway ends lead to a dark pool. The screaming stops, but it's eerily quiet. Something calls your name. Continue through leading to another hallway, but some here whispers very aggressively telling you to leave. You begin to hear loud footsteps coming from the end of the hallway. Whispers aggressive and louder. Oh my god. You know, wake back up where you started, back up with your friends, confused. What just happened? Was it a dream? Did I pass out? Maybe. Maybe not. That one really hit me. That one hit me where the sun doesn't shine. That that puckered up my sphincter. I, I, I can't lie to you. That, that, mm. I just watched like an amazing short film about the back rooms this morning. And seeing that kind of related, I guess, to the back rooms of no clipping in or whatever. And then no clipping back out with the monsters and whatnot. Man. Dear. Ooh. That one. <laughs> that one. That one. Oh my god. I hate this. I, oh. I genu- oh my god. I, gen I genuinely cannot look at this video. I, ca I can't. I can't. Oh my- Mom, I thought I just saw you in the kitchen. That is- I, I had to scroll down. That gave me full body tingles. Like, if I didn't have all these, these lots on here and recording this for a video, and I was just in my bed, just scrolling through that before I was about to go to sleep, and I have a closet that is like directly across from where I sleep. I would have had to throw away underwear that night is all I'm going to say about that. <laughs> I hate that video. I absolutely hate, hate that video. Just look at it. Look. What? Is, why would you? Who recorded this? Uh-oh. Mm -mm. No, 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 no. It's like those Michael Jackson's not really dead videos that I used to click on on Facebook and they would pop up and scare me as a 12-year-old. Jesus. Ask me to get him a Coke. Said he wanted Pepsi, not Coke. I'm taking the dinner. He picked me up. He later told me the dinner was planned for Tuesday. I must have heard him on. This is gonna be another doppelganger, like we just saw the mother thing. I can't be bothered to read all that. I have a third grade reading level, so you can read it yourself. You're a big boy. All oh. Just get a. Oh my. Thing I've gone insane. I was expecting, like, my boyfriend cloned, or, like, he got a clone, or, like, it was a doppelganger kind of situation, or maybe a skinwalker. But, oh my god, the Alzheimer's twist, bro. Oh my god. I'm gonna have to end this soon. I'm genuinely getting creeped out. I'm gonna be awake for a couple extra hours tonight, that's for sure. The United States and the People's Republic of China will engage in a nuclear war which will cause the collapse of both superpowers on June 28th, 2027. <laughs> Mr. Krabs is laughing. <laughs> if you haven't noticed the trend that's going on here, they do use the same videos over and over of like the Mrs. Incredible, Mr. Incredible progressively getting more and more distorted like that uncanny valley kind of look. And then also with the Spongebob clips. But it doesn't matter. The sounds, they can use the same sounds and the same images and videos. But the story they're telling from just their words that they're putting up on the screen, it's enough all that combined together is like the perfect combination, like Professor Utonium, sugar, spice, and everything nice. Enough to make you distressed to the point where you question everything. <laughs> and you can't sleep. Step, Step one. Oh, we got Wake a narrator here. In the morning. I don't have to read. Step two. Feel the sun's warmth emanating from the window. Uh -huh. Step three. Go into the living room oh. to see your loving wife and children. That's a crack house. 
crack children. Step four. Where are my wife mm. and children? Step five. That Realize that you haven't mm. been in this house since you were a child. Yep. Step six. That's what crack does Smell to you. Smell the air. Crack. It's the hard sulfuric stench of rotten flesh and brimstone pierces your nose like a rusty knife to the sternum. Mm. Where's your family? How did you get back here? You close your eyes and cower. That's what I want to do. I want to close cold. my eyes and you cower. You a presence with you. A presence like no other. Shaking One like a dog the in the thunderstorm. One death himself would cower from. Death? Is your eyes flutter open. You can almost make out someone know something. Oh, Standing in the I don't want to make out something in the doorway. Its voice calls out to you. The sound jars your head. Oh my god. The, the new troll faces silent, could be so. Yet your thoughts are deafening. It's cold. You're scared. Say that again. Step seven. Heed the siren's call. Oh. Step eight. Oh. Heed the siren's call. No. Step nine. Oh. Heed the back siren's up. call. Back, back up a little bit. Step ten. At the end, is that the end? The Gone Home Incident, August 13th of 2010. Oh my god, I'm at a loss for words. Genuinely, like that was that, that was more horrifying than any horror movie I've watched ever. Genuinely, ever, like that right there. And he just used troll faces. He made a better movie than uh, with uh, someone with a Hollywood budget with troll faces, text, and sound. <laughs> and probably Sony Vegas. Maybe even edited it on his phone. I think she's cheating on me. All girls are the same. Do not drink the water. Do not drink the water. Do not, oh my, oh my god. That's what happens when you drink the tap water in Flint, Michigan. <laughs> I'm sorry. And now the last one we're going to be looking at so we can keep our sanity and go to sleep Maybe at a reasonable time tonight. It's good old Mr. Crab, Spongebob, little background. And then it says, We have been trying to contact otherworldly life for decades, sending out radio signals and satellites containing pieces of culture from around the world. Yet we've hardly had anything that could even be considered a response. In nature, when a dangerous animal is in the area, other animals grow quiet as to not alert attention. What if life is more common than we thought, but they are hiding? They are laying low as to avoid a malicious entity hiding in the cosmos. Yet, here we are, crying out in the darkness, begging for attention. Perhaps we've stolen this entity's attention. Maybe it's on its way. And that's what we're going to end it off with. Maybe the aliens are on their way to suck the brains out from your butthole or give you a free colonoscopy. Hey, who knows what they do? They do some crazy stuff from the stories I've heard of the anal probing and, you know, all that good stuff. So yeah, that's gonna be it. Hopefully you got a little bit scared, a little bit frightened, maybe tinkled, maybe a little wet spot or two in your underwear. A little bit unsettled, unnerved, you know, feeling a little bit existential. All the works, but other than that, I'll catch you in the next video. Peace out.